to the Austin Physique YouTube channel. Today we are covering our top exercises to help with shoulder stiffness. Some of the most common causes of shoulder stiffness are individuals that are experiencing tightness in the muscles around the shoulder. It can make the whole area feel quite stiff, quite rigid. You might have underlying conditions of the shoulder which are predisposing possible wear and tear into the shoulder joint or where the collarbone attaches into the shoulder around the cromioclavicular joint. So what we're gonna do with the routine today is we're gonna keep it nice and simple. Movement, stretches around the shoulder that you can add in either first in the morning when you first wake up or popping this routine into your routine at the end of the day after work. A really good place to start, like what we did with the neck routine that we published previously, is to start to get some movement through the shoulders. So a really nice way to start is to just roll the shoulders. And for a lot of us, it might feel a little bit clicky, a little bit grindy. We're gonna bring it up over time. So you wanna aim for about five to 10 circles going one way, and then five to 10 circles going the other way. So it just starts to wake up through that shoulder. We can then exaggerate it a bit more by placing hands on our shoulders and then rotating back a little bit more. So what you really wanna think about when you're doing this is that you're stretching and opening up through the chest as well as moving through the shoulders. So again, we're aiming for about five to 10 circles one way and then five to 10 circles the opposite way. So yes, you do look a little bit like a chicken when it's starting to get it moving. If you've got the mobility in your shoulders, because for a lot of people will struggle to do a forearm circle, you can start to bring that back into more of a circular motion into the shoulder. So we can do five to 10 reps going one way and then five to 10 reps going the other way and you're moving through that shoulder joint. So it's just waking it up in the movement, waking it up in the morning, sorry, with that movement. So rotating through, lovely, slow and controlled, eight in between five to 10 reps. Same on the other side, you know, as you're doing that, you are stretching through the pectoral muscles, you're bringing it back. You're opening up through the glenohumeral joint. So again, for a lot of people, you might not be able to do this. So you would start off keeping it really simple with those shoulder rows that we demonstrated earlier. So we're adding this in, aiming between five to 10 reps with those, and then back to the middle. What we would then start to look at is taking the shoulder for a natural range of motion. So instead of going into a circle, what you can do is bring the arms up as high as you can in front of you. So we're coming up into that flex position, back to center, and then bringing them behind. So if I show you from the side, you're gonna bring them up in front, as high as you feel like you can go, and then you're bringing them behind. So we're trying to get that lovely flexion and extension movement into the shoulders. You might find that one side moves a bit further than the other, but you're just starting to move through those movements. What we can then do is go into abduction, so out to the side, so just bring the shoulder out to the side. Again, depending on what's going on with your shoulder and previous conditions, some people might struggle to do this, but the idea is we want to go within a pain-free range, slow and controlled, starting to take the shoulder through all vectors of motion, or, or especially the key vectors of motion of the shoulder. So moving into that position. So again, if you can come all the way up above your head, fantastic, because we're doing like an arc of movement. But the idea is we're going to have about five to 10 reps with each movement, and then repeating that obviously on the other side as well. What we're then going to do is some protraction and retraction of the shoulder, so really starting to lubricate that joint. So if I show you from the side, bringing the arms up in front as if you're doing a punch, dropping the shoulder so you're not lifting as you do that. And you're going to pinch the shoulder blades together, keeping the arms straight, and then letting that almost exaggerate that movement forward. So as you're doing this, yes, you're recruiting, particularly going forward, that serratus anterior muscle, but this is just trying to get those shoulder blades firing, get them moving first thing in the morning, as well as movement through that shoulder. So again, we're aiming for about five to 10 reps of that retraction and protraction exercise, and then relaxing there. Next, we wanna look at internal and external rotation. So you wanna drop the shoulders back into that nice neutral position, elbows into the side, and then we're gonna turn the hands out without gapping, so keeping them tucked into the side, and then bringing the palms together. So you're literally turning out 
bringing the palms together. Again, we're not trying to force that full range, we're just trying to take the shoulder through different vectors of motion that it does. So you don't want to force it at end range, you want to stay within a slow controlled movement, within a pain-free range. A lot of people, you know, external internal rotation up here is going to be too much. So having it down by your side, a great way to do that. Also, as you're turning the hands out, you are starting to fire through those rotator cuff muscles. So we're aiming for about five to 10 reps of that particular exercise. So one full rep would be hands together and then bringing the hands apart into that external rotation. Next, we want to stretch around the shoulder. So we want to stretch around the deltoid into the rhomboid, start to get a bit of movement through there. So we're going to clasp the hand underneath the elbow, so above the elbow, sorry, underneath the arm, and you're going to pull across. So we're pulling across the body. We can feel it here. We can feel it around the back, maybe into that rhomboid. We're pulling it across the body. And for this particular stretch, you want to hold it for about five to 10 seconds. So we're holding that there, nice stretch across the shoulder holding that position, really feeling that stretch around, letting the arms drop, changing sides. So again, we're looping underneath above that elbow, pulling across the body, so stretching around that shoulder. One of my favorite stretches to do, so so, so nice to get that moving, particularly if we're doing this first thing in the morning, holding that for about 10 to 15 seconds, holding that position there and then relaxing. Next, looking into the tricep, where that's tight around the back of the shoulder. Again, for a lot of people, just popping the hand on the back of the shoulder will be enough of a stretch. If we can exaggerate, it's holding around the elbow and lifting that back, so we should feel it pulling here around the shoulder. Again, aiming to hold that between 10 to 15 seconds, stretching around the back of the tricep, relaxing there, same on the other side bringing the hand round, so again, that might be enough of a stretch. If you can't do this, just stick to that original stretch that we looked at around the other side. And then if you can do this, bringing that shoulder back, so really feeling that pull into the shoulders, really allowing that to relax, holding that for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then as we release, gently coming out, and then one more stretch, we're gonna clasp the hands behind the back, so right behind you, and then what we're gonna do if I show it from the side is we're gonna pull the arms back, lifting up through. So that is stretching through the pecs. It's extending through the shoulder. It's adding in that extra stretch. If that's too much, just reduce the range or drop the arms. But for a lot of people, they can hold that stretch. First of all, in this position. So aiming to hold that between 10 to 15 seconds. Then to complete the routine, taking the hands out, clasping them in front and then pushing them out in front of you. That's separating the shoulder blades. You can even drop the chin to allow the neck to relax. Hold that there, stretching around the back. So if I show you from the side, you're almost pushing the arms forward, holding that position there. Really nice stretch to do. Holding that for 10 to 15 seconds. And then we're gonna relax there. We get asked this question all this time with this routine. You wanna fit it into your weekly plan. So it might be that you add this in maybe once or twice a week in the morning. You might add this when you're working if you do get quite stiff shoulders. You might combine it with the neck routine that we did before. So you can pick and choose which one works for you. But the idea is if you know you're struggling with your shoulders and you're feeling it and you've had it assessed by a musculoskeletal expert and no other advice or treatment is more relevant for you, then you can start to add in this movement routine around your daily plan as and when you need and get those shoulders moving.